Hi there guys, thanks for joining, uh, thanks for having a quick look. Um, obviously this is um, what do you do when things go wrong? Um, and the reality is, um, yesterday I'd got to a point where um, I was, I'd got some really nice profiling going on. This one's all done, the rough work's done on this knife. All the profiling was all, you know, so it's all been very, very pleased how that's gone. Really, really nice. Um, working on number two, this is for a friend and his, um, his friend that pair that I'm doing, um, and I noticed that the lanyard tube looked like it had got a kink, must have known it was being tapped in, and one of the pins wasn't, just wasn't straight, it, it just looked, you could see it just for some reason as it had gone in and the, maybe the resin had pushed around it and all sealed and stuff, um, it just didn't look right. So what do you do in those situations? Well, you know, before I started down this line of trying to uh, improve and it was just a hobby, um, I'd have tried to, I'd have done everything I could, I'd have boxed up fixed up, whatever, you know, um, but the reality is, what you actually do is this, that's the reality of what I do, I have to do now, or have to, want to, because without that, it, it's not gonna, it just would never have looked spot on, so I cut the handle scales off, bin them, cleaned up the handle, I had to clean up the blade again, re go back to it, because by the time I'd clamped it down and uh, you know sawn everything off and cleaned it up, there were a few marks, so that had to be cleaned down, re-taped, um, another handle block out, look I have a few that I've already got um, stabilised, cut the new liners, cleaned all them up, levelled them all off, and uh, last night, obviously these went in last night, well yesterday afternoon actually, um, to be... Uh, they all grease through, it's pretty well. Now the liners refitted, so this morning now it's a case of um, cleaning these off, redoing all the holes, tidying up the front, reclamping it all up, and then hoping I do a better job. So there we are. So anyway, I'm gonna crack on now. So thank you for joining me. I'll work while I talk. And uh, yeah, so I mean, you know, it's something to bear in mind. Anybody who's, you know, like myself in the past, with a bit of knife making and thinking, hi, oh, what's knife making? You know, one thing you've got to remember is in the past, whenever you've had a bit of something that isn't quite right, no longer good enough. You have to start again. Doesn't matter what the stuff costs, how long it's taken, like the stabilising, how long it's taken to get the wood sorted, how long it's taken to stabilise it, all that, whatever the liners cost, anything else, belts, cleaning up. The reality is, if it's for somebody else, you have to start again. And that's already happened a couple of times with different blades and things, so, you know, just something to bear in mind. So with that, I'll uh, sign off, crack on with my uh, Sunday, trying to structure my tags, obviously I can get these in, get these clamped up this morning, by the time I get home from work tomorrow night, they'll be ready to come out the clamps and everything. So I'll thank you for your time. Hope that was a bit interesting, a bit of an insight. Um, I'll catch you on Instagram. Bush Bimler on Instagram, put a lot of photos and stuff on there of all sorts, Out so outdoors, bushcrafting, things I make, just camping, my knives, and I'm um, trying to get Facebook um, going, which is Bushcrafting NZ, trying to get a bit of something going over in New Zealand. There's lots of different stuff, a lot of hunting and bits and pieces, but, you know, not a lot for this kind of thing, so with that, I will sign off, and thank you for your time, guys, and hope you have an awesome Sunday, or oh, Saturday night, depending on where you are. Catch you in the next one.